फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट माय भारत ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल प्रोवाइड एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू द यूथ ऑफ इंडिया टू प्ले एन एक्टिव रोल इन वेरियस नेशन बिल्डिंग इवेंट्स दिस इज अ यूनिक एफर्ट ऑफ इंटेग्रेटिंग द यूथ पावर ऑफ इंडिया इन बिल्डिंग अ डेवलप्ड इंडिया मेरा युवा भारत वेबसाइट माई भारत इज ऑल्सो अबाउट टू बी लॉन्च्ड आई वुड अर्ज द यूथ आई वुड अर्ज दैम अगेन एंड अगेन दैट ऑल ऑफ यू यूथ ऑफ माई कंट्री ऑल यू सन्स एंड डॉटर्स ऑफ माई कंट्री रजिस्टर ओन माई भारत डॉट गव डॉट इन एंड साइन अप फॉर वेरियस प्रोग्राम्स द थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर इज ऑल्सो द डेथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्रीमती इंदिरा गांधी जी आई ऑल्सो पे माई हार्ट फेल्ट ट्राइब्यूट टू हर माई फैमिली मेम्बर्स आवर लिटरेचर इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट मीडियम्स टू डीपन द सेंटीमेंट ऑफ द स्पिरिट ऑफ एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद यू टू वेरी इंस्पायरिंग एंडवर्स रिलेटेड टू द ग्लोरियस हेरिटेज ऑफ Tamil Nadu I have got the opportunity to know about the famous Tamil writer sister Shiva Shankari ji she has done a project knit india through literature it means to knit over a common thread and connect the country through literature she has been working on this project for the last 16 years through this project she has translated literature written in 18 indian languages she traveled across the country several times from kanyakumari to kashmir and from imphal to jaisalmer so that she could interview writers and poets from different states shiv shankari ji traveled to different places and published the accounts along with travel commentaries this is in both tamil and english languages there are four big volumes in this project and each volume is dedicated to a different part of india i am proud of the strength of her resolve friends the work of thiru ak perumal ji of kanyakumari is also very inspiring he has done a commendable job of preserving the storytelling tradition of tamil nadu he has been engaged in this mission for the last 40 years for this he travels to different parts of tamil nadu discovers the folk art forms and makes them a part of his book you will be surprised to know that till now he has written around a 100 such books apart from this perumal ji also has another passion he likes to research on the temple culture of tamil nadu he has also done a lot of research on leather puppets which is benefiting the local folk artists there shiv shankari ji and ak perumal ji's efforts are exemplary to everyone india is proud of every such effort to preserve her culture which not only strengthens our national unity but also enhances the glory of the country the owner of the country in fact everything my family members the entire country will celebrate the janjatiya gorav divas on the 15th of november this special day is associated with the birth anniversary of bhagwan birsa munda bhagwan birsa munda dwells in the hearts of all of us we can learn from his life what true courage is and what it means 
to stand firm on one's resolve. He never accepted foreign rule. He envisioned a society where there was no room for injustice. He wanted that every person should be entitled to a life of dignity and equality. Bhagavan Birsa Munda always emphasized on living in harmony with nature. Even today, we can say that our tribal brothers and sisters are dedicated in every way to the care and conservation of nature. For all of us, these endeavors of our Adivasi brothers and sisters is a great inspiration. Friends, tomorrow, that is the 30th of October, is also the death anniversary of Govind Guruji. Govind Guruji has had a very special significance in the lives of the tribal and deprived communities of Gujarat and Rajasthan. I also pay my tribute to Govind Guruji. In the month of November, we solemnly observe the anniversary of the Maghad massacre. I salute all the children of Mahabharati who were martyred in that massacre. Friends, India has a rich history of tribal warriors. It was on this very land of India that the great Tilka Manji sounded the trumpet against injustice. From this very land, Sido Kanu raised the voice for equality. We are proud that the warrior Tantia Bhil was born on our soil. We remember Shaheed Veer Narayan Singh with full reverence who stood by his people in difficult circumstances. Be it Veer Ramji Gond, Veer Gundadhur, Bhima Nayak, their courage still inspires us. The country still remembers the spirit that Alluri Sita Ram Raju instilled in the tribal brothers and sisters. We also get a lot of inspiration from freedom fighters like Kiang Nobang and Rani Gadinilyu in the northeast. It is from the tribal community that the country got women brave hearts like Raj Mohini Devi and Rani Kamalapati. The country is currently celebrating the 500th birth anniversary of Rani Durga Vati Ji who inspired the tribal society. I hope that more and more youth of the country will know about the tribal personalities of their reason and derive inspiration from them. The country is grateful to its tribal society which has always held the self-respect and upliftment of the nation paramount. My dear countrymen, during this festive season, at this time in the country, the flag of sports is also flying high. Recently, after the Asian Games, Indian players also achieved tremendous success in the para-Asian Games. India has created a new history by winning 111 medals in these games. I congratulate all the athletes participating in the para-Asian Games. Friends, I wish to draw your attention to the Special Olympics World Summer Games as well. It was organized in Berlin. This competition is a wonderful opportunity for our athletes with intellectual disabilities to display their capabilities. In this competition, the Indian team won 200 medals including 75 gold medals. Be it roller skating, beach volleyball, football or lawn tennis, Indian players won a flurry of medals. Stop.